students as we learned at the beginning of the chapter almost everything around us is made up of carbon compounds and why only around us they even form our bodies many complex carbon compounds like vitamins proteins fats carbohydrates etc constitute our body thus we can say that carbon compounds are invaluable and inevitable to us and in this video we shall study one very important carbon compound ethanol to begin with what's the chemical formula of ethanol yes it is saturated hydrocarbon with two carbons and five hydrogens and alcohol as the functional group or it can also be written as CH3 CH2 OH observe that both of them have same number of atoms of carbon hydrogen and oxygen just the way they are written differently and so both of them are correct the structure of ethanol can be represented like this ethanol is generally referred to as simply alcohol and is the active ingredient in all alcoholic beverages 100% ethanol is called absolute alcohol now let us study the properties and uses as well as reactions of ethanol to start with let us know the physical properties of ethanol it is a colorless liquid at room temperature it has melting point of 156 kelvin and boiling point of 351 kelvin it is soluble in water at room temperature when tested with litmus paper the aqueous solution of ethanol appears neutral that is it does not cause any change in the color of litmus whether blue or red it is highly combustible liquid and burns with a blue flame did you know students that ethanol has many uses in our day to day lives this makes it an important carbon compound so let's learn about its uses now as ethanol is very good solvent it is used as solvent in laboratories and as a base in many chemical industries it is used as a solvent to dissolve many organic compounds in labs and used as a base for perfumes liquors varnishes etc it is also used to make cough syrups and many tonics by dissolving several medicinal compounds in it yes this is how medicines are made ethanol is also used as an antidote against many other harmful and poisonous alcohols such as methanol because of its amazing antiseptic properties ethanol is used in hospitals for dressings in fact it is also used to clean surfaces in hospitals and houses it kills microorganisms like bacteria fungi etc it is also used in manufacturing of many hand sanitizers a solution of ethanol containing 5% water is called rectified spirit which is useful for disinfecting the outer surface of the body i'm sure you must have seen this where Yes, doctors use this rectified spirit before giving injections, isn't it? Yes. It will amaze you if I tell you that ethanol is used to enhance the flavor of various food dishes. Yes, you heard me right. The most common flavoring agent is vanilla essence, which is made by processing vanilla beans with a solution made from ethanol and water. In some countries ethanol is mixed with petrol a mixture known as biofuel it is a clean fuel as it produces only carbon dioxide and water after complete combustion in sufficient supply of oxygen it does not produce any toxic gases did you know students that sugarcane plants are one of the most capable plants to convert sunlight into chemical energy using photosynthesis now you may be wondering why are we talking about sugarcane here we must be discussing ethanol 
This is because industrially ethanol is made by fermentation of molasses. And what has this molasses to do with sugarcane? Pause the video and think about it. Did you? You guessed it right. Molasses is a byproduct formed during the production of sugar from sugarcane juice. And that's why we talked about sugarcane here. Molasses is a dark colored liquid that remains after the crystallization of sugar from concentrated sugarcane juice. This remaining liquid contains about 30% of sucrose and this sucrose cannot be separated by crystallization and thus it is processed into ethanol. In short, sugarcane juice is useful for making molasses and fermentation of this molasses produces alcohol that is ethanol. As we have learned that ethanol is an active ingredient in all alcoholic beverages because it is known to have a soothing effect on our CNS. Wait, what I said? CNS, yes, it is central nervous system. But long-term alcohol consumption leads to many health problems. In fact, when a large amount of ethanol are consumed, it slows down the metabolism and weakens the central nervous system of our body. So students, today what we have learned is physical properties and uses of ethanol. Let us move ahead and learn about the chemical properties of ethanol in the next video.